is sad, but in today's world, kids are not always safe in their own neighbourhood. So when the kids decided to play video games at a neighbour's house and mum and dad didn't really care, it was up to me to keep them out of arm's way. James likes to go to his friend's house, and Tyler often follows along, and they'll play games that they're not supposed to play. Let me see, let me see, let me see that one. This one got T written on it. It says T. It says violent. What's it mean when they say violence? When they say it's violent, it's not really violent. They're just trying to get you not to play. He's lying. In video games, you race, shoot, and um, tackle. You pop them in the head. <laughs> really, you do. What do you think 10 plus means? You gotta be 10 and under. Well, it's a plus. 10 plus. So you're too young now. No, 10 and under. So 10 and under. I knew that James knew what some of the ratings meant, but definitely not some of the others, and this really did have me concerned. But this one's got M on it. It was M rating for mature. It's a very, very, very hard game. Right, right. These kids are seven years old, and yet they're playing video games that are for teen, 10 plus, and M for mature. You wouldn't want kids this young watching an R-rated movie. <laughs> this is a scary thing, and, you know, parents have got to be in control of this and get a grip. The next thing I needed to do was to educate this family about the video game's rating system. Only 21% of kids say that their parents have any rules about the video games they can play. So this is information that a lot of families need to hear. Lesson today, game ratings. All right, what does E mean? Everyone. What's this one? Well, that are you, ten, you have to be 10, but you can't be under 10 to play those. I didn't know that there was a E10 and up. I thought that any E game was suitable for my kids. What's that a one, Dad? Game. Teenagers, 13 and up. What's this one? M for mature, meaning a game not found in our house. <laughs> I've played an M game before, but I don't know anymore. What was the M game like? Shooting, cussing, robbing, and killing. James, which is the best one to play? I want to play one team game. It's not even bad. Let them read the back of T. Read, read the back of T. Hey, contained violence, suggestive themes, minimal blood. OK, so does that sound like something that you should be playing? Do we w want any of these things in our house? It's just a game. But it's not when you act it out. Learning about the video game ratings has made mum and dad realise that they need to pack up those teen games right away. And when James, their eldest son, realised what that meant, he started to get upset. OK, so this should have a big red X over it because it's not allowed in our house, nor are you allowed to play it at anyone else's house. So why don't you pick some oh, that great. you think are allowed here in this house? When Joe showed me the ratings for the video games, I didn't really like it because I used to be able to play teen games, but now I can't. T hey. for teen is out. Come on, Ed. All the fun games are gone. I can't even play my favorite game. You only got a couple years. It'll fly by, I promise you. Before you know it, you'll be 20 and wishing you were 10 again, OK? I feel that, you know, a lot of kids get exposed to so much so early. But whilst we are in our own homes and we have communication with our neighbours and our friends, you know, we can do as much as we possibly can to control that situation. Ultimately, parents are responsible for the video games their kids play, whether that's at a neighbour's house or in their own home. So when Holly told me that she really didn't know how to discuss the video games with her neighbour, I took the liberty to invite her into her own home so we could discuss this straight away. What you decide to do with your child is one thing. What you decide to do with your child is one thing. So how do we clear that up so that James can't turn around and say, oh, well, I've got around to Colton's and I can do it there. And what can the pair of you do together to make sure that that doesn't happen? I won't let Colton play any games that you don't want him to play. Right, it's... same with you guys. We right. won't let him play until we talk to you and Jimmy. <laughs> do you have each other's number? Not yet. 
Right, no, we don't. Let's do that. It's so important to be able to communicate constantly with your neighbours, especially when your kids spend so much time in each other's homes. So the nice thing is at least then you know that you've got each other's support. We're going to converse more often so that we know how our kids are behaving at each other's house.